Hey everyone, it- ugh. It's me, Paige Tudor Flower. Welcome back, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys on a barn tour. I'm going to take you around and show you a little bit around the barn and all that fun stuff. And then I'm going to take you inside and show you what the inside of my barn looks like. And if you guys like this video and want to see more videos like this, let me know. Because then I'll make some more. So let's get going. I am lucky to live super close to the barn, so there's like literally just a one minute walk to get there. So let's get going. Just before we get to the barn, I just want to point out there's a super cute little chicken coop over here at this house. And the chickens are so adorable. Look at them all. Okay, now back to horses and the barn. So, as you can see to the left and the right of me, there are two, well, actually three big paddocks for the horses to chill in and to burn off some energy from when they've been in the stalls. And, oh, here comes a cute little puppy. Oh, I think that's Steve's little puppy. But, yeah. There's a super cute archway here where you end one of Steve's races. So you've got to be careful when walking along this path here because you don't want to get knocked over by a galloping horse. But yeah, there's a cute well over here where we can get some water for the horses. And there's a frog. Oh, hi, puppy. There's a frog in there that is extremely loud. I don't know if you can hear it. And there's a cute little crow as well. So over here is the... First paddock over here. I like to put my horses in here because it's a bit, um, it's kind of more away from everything so they can just be horses without everyone staring at them. And then the other two paddocks are also pretty good because there's little uh, shelters in them. So if it starts raining, the horses can take shelter. Over here, there are some stalls open for like, I think it's more for people who are visiting and just need a quick little overnight stable. And there are actually three horses in here and they're all so cute. Uh, I think I do need to come and muck it out later. <laughs> Whoops, sorry Steve. <laughs> and over there is Steve just watching everyone, making sure they're all doing their chores. So I'm going to stay away from him because I haven't done mine yet. So, whoops. Here are the two smaller paddocks over here. They're also really nice to, I don't know, just put your horse in and let them graze and stuff. Over there is the um, circle arena. There's the barn. We'll be going in there soon, I promise. And there's the puppy again. You are all over the show today, aren't you? Here is another well that we can use to get more water without a frog in it this time. So that's a plus. I don't really like frogs that much. Over here is the trailer that I like using all the time. The other one is somewhere in the village and it's just too far to walk to. So I use this one a lot. Over here is where we can uh, put our horses in and get um, their manes done and their tails done. And also we can come here to get them trimmed a bit. Maybe if you, I don't know, prefer shorter ma manes and stuff. And yeah, and here is the big arena. I like to use this sometimes when I'm practicing my dressage or when I'm just doing some flat work with some of my horses and it's really big. Okay, now my favorite part, inside the barn. Let's go. Okay, so here we are inside the barn. It is a lot bigger on the inside than what it looks like on the outside. But before we go and say hello to all the horses, let's go in here. I like to keep some spare clothing in here just in case we, I don't know, have a bit of a spook and I end up falling in the mud and I need to change clothes before I go home because we don't want to go home muddy now, do we? There's also a sink so I can wash myself, like wash my face. And then we've got a couple of towels and some brushes and buckets and stuff 
just lying around in case we need them. And then I have a little uh, table down over here in case I need to sit and do some work. Uh, well, not work, more like if I just want to come out and hang out here and do some of my schoolwork so I can just sit down there. And then we gotta make sure we look good, like, come on. I keep some makeup here in case we go to like, I don't know, a show or something. I can just quickly put on some makeup if I forgot. I don't always forget, but like, it's just in case. And then there's the light switch, so I can switch on and off the lights. And there's a cute little window. Down here is my notice board where I write down all this stuff that I need to do in the week. Like, who needs to be taken out for rides and when a show's coming up or when I have a lesson. And I just put some pictures up as well, which is really nice. Over here is where I keep all my tack. Well, not my tack, more my saddle pads and all my leg wraps and saddlebags. Well, there's one or two saddlebags in there, but yeah. Over here is the wash bay. Um, it's really cool because the hose can reach like almost all the way up to over here where I am. Okay, there's another sink and another bucket and towel so I can dry off the horses before I take them out. And then, yeah, it's really, it's really nice colors. Like I really like this color. The green tiles is really nice. Don't look at the horses yet. In this room over here is where I keep some of my bridles and some of my saddles and the wheelbarrow and a shovel or spade, whatever you call it. And I also keep some more brushes and just a couple of little trinkets in these boxes, like some more of the, uh, some of my jumping boots and all sorts of stuff. Some of my saddles, are, uh, not saddles. Some of my helmets are also in here, which is really nice. In this room, I just keep some of my feed, some of the hay is in here, some carrots and oats and all sorts of stuff. And also some of some medicine, just in case a horse is sick or something. I have a couple little things I can use to maybe help them feel better. Okay, it is time to start saying hello to all the horses. We'll start over here and we'll make our way down to the back of the stable. When I introduce them, I'm gonna say their show name and then their nickname that I just call them all the time. First up, we have my very first horse that I got here in your book. His show name is Rising Sun, but I just call him Sunny. He is super sweet and he is actually one of my oldest horses that I have here in the barn, but don't let his age fool you. He can still do like, almost everything. We enjoy going on trail rides together, but sometimes we do a little bit of jumping and maybe and maybe a bit of dressage here and there, here and there. But yeah, he's just super cool and I love going on rides with him. He's super sweet. Next up, we have Leaves of Autumn, aka Autumn. He was my barrel racer or my western horse, but now actually we do racing together like He's really fast. Um, so, yeah, he's extremely fast and really good on the track. We do need to work on our turns a little bit because we kind of, we either get it super good halfway and then we just nearly hit the fence and then <laughs> it's just chaos. But yeah, it's actually really fun racing with him. And yeah, I would not change a single thing about him. Next up, we have Dark Knight, a.k.a. Ash. He is more of a dressage horse, but he is a little bit spooky at times. So I don't really take him out doing like cross country or trail rides that often because he is spooky. I am trying to work with him to get him better with work well, well like going outside. He is really getting better and I'm see seeing a lot of improvements with him and his spookiness. But yeah, he's really sweet once you get to know him and yeah he's just he's just wonderful next up we have pretty picture aka dawn she is one of my first magic wild horses that i bought she is stunning to say the least and i really love her to bits she is just the sweetest girl in the world and surprisingly we love going on trail rides together where we like climb up mountains and stuff. Obviously not like mountains, but like we go climbing together. And when I say climbing, I mean just like going uphill more more than 
my other horses and we like to explore together and yeah this is what her normal coat looks like still as beautiful as the other but yeah I just thought I'd show that as well Next up, we have Standing Tall, aka Dusty. <laughs> he is my, um, well, we do a lot of dressage together. He's a Frisian. Why wouldn't we do dressage together? But yeah, he's really good at dressage. And he is my tallest horse as of now, I think. And he's just stunning. He pulls the silliest faces, which is actually really cute. You should see some of the faces he pulls. But yeah, he's just the sweetest boy ever and I I love him. Next up, we have Jumping for Joy, aka Caramel. If you guys have been following my YouTube channel for a long time, you would know her. Well, you would know most of my horses if you've been following my YouTube or my Instagram for a long time. So yeah, we do show jumping mostly together. Uh, the odd trail ride and stuff. I don't, I think we've done a little bit of cross country together, but mostly show jumping. She's like amazing with jumping like I don't know how to explain how good she is she does get a little bit excited when she sees some of the bigger jumps so <laughs> gotta be careful like instead of going in a slow collected gallop she will just full speed go over them which is sometimes fun but also sometimes kind of scary so I've gotta be careful <laughs> but she's just really pretty like look at that beautiful coat come on guys like, come on. <laughs> Next up, we have Thundering Storm, aka Blue. He is a Jorvik Wild, so he kind of likes going out and just running around. He is part of the Mystic Herd, so whenever we're in Tailtop Village, he always chats with all the Mystics, and he's quite friendly with the well, basically the whole Jorvik Wild herd down at Tailtop. He is actually surprisingly great at cross country, so we go out and do cross country quite a lot at Fairgrove, and we just have a really good time together. Like, he's just amazing. Look at his beautiful dappled coat and the beautiful blue in his tail. He's just so pretty, and I might, might can I just say that the Mystic Halter is just stunning. Like, come on. <laughs> and he's got a cute little heart in his mane. It's just so sweet. Next up, we have Can't Catch Me, aka Coffee. He is my energetic little pony. He, well, if you have treats in your pocket, he will find them and he will eat them. So be careful. He is constantly eating and yeah, he's also quite good at cross country, but we do some trail rides together and yeah, he's just my fun little pony. I just love his one tiny little sock on his leg. It's just so cute. Next up, we have Ghost Dancer, aka Aztec. He is another dressage horse, but we sometimes do cross country together. I've tried show jumping, but I think he prefers dressage or cross country, but that's still fine. He also has a beautiful dappled coat. Like, come on, look at how beautiful. I'm obsessed with dapples on grey horses. Um... Yeah, he is really sweet and stunning, to say the least. Uh, I think I've done quite a few Instagram reels with him, but not gonna lie, he looks really good in all of them. Next up, we have Second Chance, aka Chance. He was my first rescue horse that I ever adopted. Um, I'm really glad I got him when I did, because... He is just the sweetest soul in the world. Like, honestly, he's so careful when we ride. Like, he he's just amazing. And we do quite, um, we have, I think I've tried some dressage with him and I've tried show jumping, but we just do some trail rides and we just hang out together. And he's just so sweet. Like, and I love his big bushy forelock and his cute little mane it's so sweet okay so so far the horses that I've shown have been in order on in which horse I got first when it comes to down here I don't remember who I got first like between these two horses here I'm not going to say their names yet you're going to have to wait 
I don't remember which one I got first. I'm just going to show them in any order the rest of these horses down the way. I'm probably going to go left to right. Left, right, left, right, left, right. And then we'll finish off down there at the end. Over here we have Gentle Giant, a.k.a. Scotty. He has been my dream horse ever since I started collecting horse models. Like, he is just beautiful. Like, I love him so much. And if I ever go to horse in real life, I definitely get this coat and this breed. <laughs> um, but yeah, we do quite a lot of trail rides together. And I think we've done some show jumping. I'd like to do some more jumping with him, maybe. Or even try cross country. But yeah, that'll be so much fun. And... He's just so sweet. And I love his rear and also Dawn's rear. It's just the cutest thing ever. Next, we have Dressed to Impress, aka Silver. She is my second um, magic wild horse that I got. She is stunning. We've done a little bit of show jumping together, but I think I'm more going to do some uh, dressage with her because, like, come on. Who would not want to see this beautiful coat doing beautiful dressage moves like come on even her non-magic coat or normal coat just screams i'm here to impress everyone who looks at me like and the cute one little lighter hoof is so stinking cute some of her markings from her magical coat stay like and it almost at the back here it almost looks like uh she's been clipped to look like that which i am totally in for like it's beautiful next up we have flying high aka eclipse aka eclipse my dad <laughs> he was named after one of the night lights from how to train your dragon but it turns out that wasn't the actual night lights name so his name is staying eclipse i'm not gonna i'm not going to change it i love him um he is a little bit more on the wild side but not gonna lie i don't I don't care. He's still super pretty and adorable and I love him to bits. He, I'm going to try and jump with him again, but we'll see how that goes. Next up, we have Make Them Wait, aka Zebedee. He is a little bit of a lazy boy, but he is really beautiful. Like, I have never seen a horse coat like this. So when I saw him, I was like, I have to buy him. So I did. I think I bought him in my uh, voice reveal video, which was quite a long time ago. But yeah, so I think I'm going to try and do show jumping with him. We also do a couple trail rides here, here and there, which is really fun. Next up, we have Rusty Statue, aka Rusty. He is stunning. I love his coat so much. And he just stands up so tall and so proud all the time. Like, who wouldn't just straight away fall in love? And also the one cute little sock. It's so cute. It's killing me. Um, I have done quite a little bit of jumping with him. Um, I'd like to do some more and maybe even try dressage because why not? We also do the odd trail ride. Just like with all my horses. <laughs> Next up, we have Big Bad Wolf, aka Wolfie. He is not at all big or bad. He is quite small and really cute and adorable. Like, look at him. He is a small little baby boy. I love him so much. He is super cute. I did try show jumping with him, but I don't really think he enjoys it. So I might just do trail rides, and maybe try dressage. That might be fun. I love his bushy mane and tail. It's just so stinking cute. And the cute little feathers on his legs. He's just so cute. I love him. And I especially love the way that he talks. It's really pretty. Last but not least, we have Charging Up, aka Gizmo. He is another one of my older horses. Um, but he's just so so sweet and like he's always willing to do anything I ask him to do so like if we go and do and we so if we go do show jumping he'll do it or if we go do dressage he'll gladly do it which is so sweet I love him I don't actually think I've tried cross country with him yet that might be quite fun but yeah so he's just stunning and look at how 
cute his little spots are. I just love him so much. And his cute fluffy ears. Oh, Nunu, I love you so much, Gizmo. Well, I actually really love all of my horses. <laughs> yeah. So that is all... I messed up. So that is going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys loved... I hope you guys liked it and maybe found it interesting seeing all my horses and their show names and their nicknames and what they do. I might do more almost realistic roleplay type videos in the future because this was quite fun. So yeah, if you guys liked this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and maybe go and check out my Instagram and see if you like the videos there because I post on Instagram quite a lot. Bye guys!